Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and today I'm doing another page in the Brodery SVG file mini album that I have been making. So, so far in this album we have done the cover, inserted the pages and done our first page which is this cute little doors that we have made using the SVG files. So today I thought we would kick on and do another page and I'll tell you a little bit more, I can't get it in, there we go, I'll tell you a little bit more about the uh, SVG files as we go. So that's our first page. Now today we're going to do the second page which is going to be right here and I've got a little bit of a plan and I hope it goes smoothly but we'll just have to muddle along. Right so I'll just put this to the side for now because we don't need it just at this instant. Uh, I thought I should tell you that I'm cutting all of the main pieces out of this cardstock, which is the Recollections uh, cardstock in 65 pounds or 176 GSM in colour cream. And for my design paper or scrapbook paper, I'm using a digital collection because I just love all things digital. This is Always and Forever by Knitwits and uh, Knitwits collection and I'll put a link uh, below in the description box in case you want to find it and what I do when I download it is I like to print all of the pages um, together in the wallet size so that I can just quickly flip through it and see if it's what um, page or paper I might want to print out and there's also ephemera in these packs so I also print out the ephemera so that I can see what that looks like as well. So I'm using the Knitwits Collections Always and Forever and the Recollections Cream Cardstock and the Brodery SVG files. So I will start by showing you all of the pieces that I've cut out for today and then we'll muddle along and try and put it all together. So let me grab my bits and pieces that I've already cut out. I just listened back to um, a video that I've already done and I say so. A lot and I'm going to try not to but I don't know how to start a sentence without it apparently anyway carrying on today I have cut out some bits and pieces from the SVG files and I should tell you that uh, if you would like to purchase them these SVG files I will also provide the link to my Etsy store in the description box below there are 30 pieces and they include mats for each of those 30 pieces as well. So uh, in the diagrams, I've labelled them with different labels just for ease of reference. And I have um, coloured all of the elements themselves uh, in the blue and then all of the mats are in the pink. So that just makes it nice and easy to distinguish one piece from the other. So I have today cut out one base page mat and that's this one here where it's ready to go. And then I have cut out four of these D2 pockets and that's these ones here. And just to make it easier on myself, I also just write on each of them what piece they are. Because just in case I don't use it, then I can pop it away and I will know um, if I need it if I pull it out again which piece it is and if I haven't cut a mat I can then cut a mat for it so I've cut out four of those so that's those there and then I've cut out seven uh, of these pieces here D5 which are the mats for D2 I've cut out seven of those and that's these here then over the page I've cut out one of these E1s which is this one here and I've already inked it up a little bit. And then I have cut out two of the mats for that, which is E5, so I've cut out two of those. And then finally, well not finally, but next, I have cut out one of these pieces here, which is H3, which is this one here. And I have also cut out the mat for that, just one of H5, which is this piece here. And then finally, I have cut out of this page, which I've just labelled bits and pieces because I didn't know what else to call it. 
I have cut out two of these J4 belly bands. So that's these two here. I've cut out two of those and I've already inked around some of those. I have also cut out two of these J2s, which are little tabs. So there's two of those there. And I have also cut out two of the J15s. And those J15s are the little mats that go on J2. So here's that tiny little J2, and here's the little tab, that, uh, the little mat for it that goes on about like that. And I've cut out two of those. So that's all our pieces. Now we're going to try and bumble through and put it all together. So I'll just put this to the side. And let's see, we'll start with, maybe we'll start with doing um, a little, we'll start with the D2 pieces because I'm thinking that I'll use these to put together a little booklet that we can attach to the page. So. What I've already done is um, put little crosses on each of the tabs that I want to cut off. Now I've included all the tabs on this piece, even though I don't want to use them all, just to make that piece more versatile to use. So you can use it as a pocket, um, either portrait or landscape. You can use it as a flip, either portrait or landscape, depending um, on which tabs you cut off will tell you, um, you know, whether it's a pocket or a, a flip. So, or a flap, flip, flap, flap, flip. Okay, so my plan is to cut off the tabs around all of these. Except for this one, I'm only cutting off one tab and the rest I'm cutting off three tabs. And the reason I put crosses on there is to remind myself because I frequently forget which ones to cut off and then I end up cutting off too many flips or too many tabs. So this is the extent of the cutting that needs to be done. So I'm just going to line up that score line as best I can see it, which isn't that great because of the light. I'm just going to line up that score line there and I think it's about there. I'll trim that off. And this is no measuring required and the scoring's already been done so I'm just cutting off these tabs that's as much cutting as I need to do. So I'm just lining them up and trimming those off and that's one piece there and then I'm going to do the same with the next couple as well. really hard to see this top bit here in the light but hopefully I'm doing okay. So I call these um, SVG files versatile um, mini album files and the reason is a because we can just trim these little tabs off and it makes each piece quite versatile but also because the size, um, the ability of being able to resize SVG files, which means that I can make, I can use exactly the same pieces to make bigger albums. All I have to do is upsize the files in my cutting machine software. So that makes these really versatile as well. And the other reason is because I've included two different styles of um, each piece so that you can either make a really fancy, flowery, lacy album using um, the pieces that have these lace borders or you can make quite a plain um, album and not using those pieces because for every single piece that has um, the lace edge there is exactly the same kind of a piece that doesn't have the lace edge so you can make a, a, a plain album as well. Right so to start this one I'm just going to find my craft mat so I don't get glue all over the place. It's here. I'm sorry if it's a bit glary but it's better than uh, ending up with glue everywhere which is what I tend to do. Okay, so on this one, I've only just cut off this one tab because I want to, I want this to be a pocket. So I'm just going to fold it over 
and fold all those score lines and give it a nice sharp crease with my bone folder. Now I haven't I haven't um, inked these already because I like to ink them after I folded the pieces or cut the pieces off. So um, then for each of these they're just going to be little flips. So I'm just going to fold along there and then I'll fold that score line down along there. And same here. So what I'm going to do is, I think I might uh, quickly, um, I'll tell you what, first thing I want to do is, I think I'd like them to have rounded edges. So I'm just going to round the edges on each of these little flips. It just looks nice, nicely finished like that. And you could use a fancy board punch, corner punch if you had one. But I'm just going to go with rounding and I'm going to do this last one as well. It has these little tabs that I've folded in here, which is the one that we're going to use as a pocket. Okay, now what I might do is just go ahead and um, ink around the edges and then when I've done that I'll come back and we can continue on. So I will do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and I have uh, just inked around the edges of all my pieces. So I have this one piece at the back here which I'm going to make into a pocket. And then I have three of this same piece, the D2. And I have trimmed off all the way around the edge and just left one flat. So what my plan is, I'm going to attach those to this pocket. Oops. I'm using Helmar's fabric glue and I really like the fabric glue because it doesn't make the paper buckle. So the first thing I'm going to do is just glue, put some glue on each of these tabs and then I'm going to attach this D2 to this one here. So the bottom piece is a pocket and then all the ones on the top are little flips where we can put our photos. So I'm just making sure that all my edges are lined up as best I can. And making sure it's really well stuck down. Like so. I feel like it should be a little bit lined up a bit better there. I'll just move those mats out of the way, shall I? And I'm gonna do the same with this one. of a pocket. Like so. And then the last one. Give it a little trim with our scissors. And this top one does not want to play. Okay, I think that, that, that's pretty good. bone folder, make sure it's all stuck down. So there's our little pages. And then the last one will be our pocket. So I've already cut out my mats, um, but my mats haven't got rounded edges, so I'm just going to go and round all of those. And 
I noticed that on this one, when I cut it out, I got a little bit of a white down the edge. But I decided that I was going to use that piece anyway, and I might actually put it up the front, and that will be a good place to put a little bit of an embellishment. So we can cover that up with a bit of embellishing. But I will just go ahead and put some corners on these and stick down the mats. So I think I decided that this one was going to go on top, even though it's a little wonky. That's a good place to do some embellishing down the side there. So, oh, actually, before I do that, stop right there. Hold everything. Put that to the side. Ooh, glad I remembered that. I've got these little pieces here that I want to use to um, hold my book down like a little wallet. Now I've cut two of these but I'm going to cut the tab off one of these and glue them together just to make it that little bit uh, stronger. But I don't want both the tabs because it will make it a bit too bulky so I'm just going to trim that off and I'm going to use my cutting tool, cutting board, I don't know, what do you call it? Uh, anyway, I'm just going to line it up uh, just a little bit inside of that score line so that it should fold okay. I'm going to trim that little tab off and then I am going to glue this one to the inside of this one. So this is going to get messy I'm sure. a little bit of glue around there and then I'm going to stick this one down to this one and make sure it's lined up and it looks good to me make sure it's really well firmly stuck down If you feel like you're not that you can see a little bit, I'm just going to do an extra little bit of uh, distressing of the ink around the edge. And same on this side. Right, now what I want to do with this little piece is stick it to the inside of my pocket, like so. Then all these little fellas will be under there as well. So just like that. So to do that, I want to find roughly the centre along here because if I try and figure it out for myself, that's when it all goes wrong and it does look a bit strange because it's not centred. So it is 12.7 centimetres. So half of that would be about 6.3 centimetres roughly. That looks about right. So I'm just going to put some glue on my little tab here. Like so and try and line it up with the centre on that. Roughly, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I have to feel like I've tried. <laughs> Let's stick that down like so. So then when it flips over, I need to just pull it out of squidge. Pull it out of squidge more. And it'll fall over like so. Cute. Branch that down now. I wanted to do that first because I'm just going to um, just going to run along there, sort of flatten that out a little bit. I wanted to do that first because I would like to put some magnets on here and here. So I have these basic grey magnets, and so I'm just going to pop one of those. Out. And it's already got the little sticky doobie um, paper on it, so I'm just going to pull off that one, the plus one. 
and pose it down on here. I'm going to make sure it's in far enough that my mat will cover it. That should do. Hopefully. And then I'm going to get my little negative one out of here if I can. It doesn't want to come out. Okay. Oop. Pop that on top. And then pull that sticky off. my dicky mat that I cut out wrong but we can we can embellish away that uh, wonky edge and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue down all of my mats so you might not want to watch that whole thing I can certainly speed it up a little bit So I've put the mats on um, each of those little pages now, so if we open it up you can see that the mats are there for each one, and then this one here which is a pocket. So I'm just going to pop the um, mats on this little piece here so that you cannot see that um, magnet that's hiding there. stuff all over my fingers. And pop this one on here. Over the top of that magnet. Good push to get it to stick down over the top of that magnet. Because it's such a little piece it does require a little encouragement. up like that and we have ourselves a little pocket uh, a little booklet which we're going to attach but now we'll put that to the side because that's ready to go on and my next plan was uh, let's bring our book and album in here and make sure it's the right way up so on the album itself I had the plan to use this piece here E1 as a flip and pop it on here which means we need to cut off these two edges these two tabs so I've already put the crosses on there to remind myself to do that and then on the inside here I wanted to put down this belly band now I've actually cut out two of the belly bands and I want to join those together as well like this um, so that it's just that little extra bit stronger because it's, it can be a bit flimsy on its own. So I'm going to leave the tabs on one so we can attach it to the page and I'm going to cut the tabs off this second one so that we can attach it and those tabs don't make it too bulky. So I'll put that onto that side to trim that off. This piece here is going to be a pocket so we don't need to do any trimming on that one and then all the other pieces are mats. So what I'll do now is I will go ahead and trim these two pieces off and ink the edges and I will trim these two pieces off and ink the edges and then I will glue the two belly bands together to make it that little bit stronger and then when I've done that I will be back. So I'm back and I've trimmed the tab off the edge of this um, piece here to make it uh, now a flip instead of a pocket and I have attached those two belly bands together just to give it a bit of extra strength and you don't necessarily have to do that I just think that it's safer to do it that way I've got a bit of glue stock there that I can't get off <coughs> so 
now I'm going to bring back my album and on this page here I'm going to attach the belly band so I've also just made a couple of tiny tiny little marks just here which is the halfway point so that I can line my belly band up and attach it uh, as close to the middle as I can so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on these tabs that one and that one and try and line it up somewhat in the middle pretty much like that easy and then with this one I'm just going to attach it to the edge of my page like that so I'm just going to put some glue on this tab here and I'm trying it doesn't want to come out it either comes out too much or not enough okay finally all right so i'm just going to line this up with the edge of my page and make sure i'm happy with the way it's lined up all the way around <coughs> excuse me and stick it down and let's get my brain folder out and give it a good score good low score just you know press it down firmly make sure it's as well attached and i'm happy with that so <clears throat> all i need to do now is map this and i also have this pocket here which i want to actually attach just here uh, what i might do is put the put the mat on this first so i have this mat here and then stick it straight on i've already inked around the edge of my pocket this is the h3 piece and it's mat which is h5 so i can just stick that straight on here like so make sure I'm happy with where it's sitting and I have a mat to go on here so I've cut out these two mats for this flip here so this is E1 and these two pieces are E5 so maybe so this little this little fella here that we made before it's going to sit on top like so so do I want it to sit on this pink or do I want it to sit on this brownie color I think I want the pink so <clears throat> I'll put the brown on the inside just move my cup out the way so I'll put this brown on the inside. Come on glue. I can hear the puppy playing in the other room with its squeaky toy. Right, so let's glue that up and I've already inked it around that one as well and just pop that one down. put my pocket straight on top so I'll just put some glue on those tabs that one and this one oh gluey fingers and this one I'm just going to stick that on there, under there, and then stick it down, just, just avoiding that um, score line a bit so that it should fold over okay. So it's sort of butted up pretty close to it, but not on top of it. 
and to make sure that it folds and so it does. Lovely. Now, what I was thinking about was that if we have something in this pocket and we have something under this belly band, it might get a bit full. So I feel like I would like to put something here to hold this flip down. And I don't want to do another one of these because I've already got that. So what I was thinking is just using a bit of uh, seam binding perhaps. So I have some seam binding around here. This pretty pink one maybe, or maybe this lighter pink one would be the way to go. Might go with the lighter pink on this page. So I'm just going to stick a bit of this down with my glue in the middle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these little round edges. So my fourth, this one here will be the centre. I'm just going to put the glue back here so it's definitely under the mat. And I'm just going to stick that down nice and flat. Get it on my fingers as well. And then I will stick the other edge down under here in about in line with that and we can put a mat over the top of this one as well so that'll be fine and it's going to poke out this way I'll just stick that down there get glue all over my fingers of course oh no, okay it's stuck to my fingers but not the paper Right, now I can just trim those off, but I will just want to make sure that I've got enough, maybe about there will do, uh, just do it, okay, right, so now I can stick my mat down here so here's my mat already cut for that and I've inked around the edges so I can just put some glue on there slide around the edges there and I'm just going to slide it under here and that's the big dog barking Slide it through under my belly band, line it up, make sure that I can get that bit of glue off. Gosh, I just get glue everywhere. And then line that up, stick it down. Easy done. I still have that bit of glue that I need to get off. So then this flips over, and we can stick the mat on top of there. And this one is already cut out and I have also inked around the edges of that one. So nice not having to bother with your cutting and the scoring, measuring. And it means that I also have these mats that really fit the um, design nicely with the little scalloped edges. So I'm just going to make sure that that's poking out where I want it to and then my mat's all lined up stick it out Loved. all right let's hope I've left enough to tie up here I'll just tie this up while I stick the other one down oh that's a little bit short Cute. Okay, and then this one is our pocket, so we're going to stick it down right over here, and then we have a little pocket here as well if we need it. I think that'll look cute. Alright, so let's stick some glue on these tabs. 
And this one here. And this one. And um, then line it up. And stick it down. Lovely. Make sure that's stuck down well. So I'm just going to open that up. Make sure it's stuck down along these tabs nice and tight, firmly, I should probably say. Push it down with my bone folder. There we go. Easy. So we have our little pages all done. Uh, now, so there's lots of inserts and bits and pieces we can put in here. I thought I'd do all the inserts at the end though, but here's our second page. So we've got this little magnetic catch that opens our little booklet that flips open. We've got lots of spots here for putting our uh, photos. And then of course under here we also have a little pocket. And close that up and then if we untie this little flip here it flips out and we have a pocket here so we can put some things in here and we also have a belly band here and we can put some bits under here and I will do the inserts and the tags at the end and also the embellishing but for now I'm just putting together the pages and matting them at the same time so we can do this up we can try all fingers and thumbs. I don't want to pull that one. I've, I think I've cut one a little bit too short, but we can figure that out. We can sort that out later as well. Oh, I've really done a mess of this. Can't tie anything to save myself. There we go. Got it. Right, so that's our second page. So we're getting there in our little out mini album. So there's our first page with these cute little doors and we pull the little tag out and they open up. And then we slide this little tag back in and hold the closed. And then on the second page, we have this page that we've done today. So I really hope that you're enjoying um, making this album with me and using my SVG um, files that I have designed. And um, again, if you're interested, head over to my Etsy store and that's where you will find the Brodery SVG files, which are an instant digital download so you can start creating straight away. So, I hope I'll see you again soon. Um, thanks very much for your time and bye for now. Bye.